I've traveled down many roads, work with more than a few kinds of people. Serve with Republicans and Democrats. Fought for our nation's values, fairness, democracy, individual liberty. But none of those roads would have been open to me if not for the most important one. The road to my family in Michigan. My story really begins here in Michigan. I was raised here, went to school here, and I am a third generation Michigander. My great grandfather sort of lived that American dream. He came through Ellis Island. He started the family meat business, High Grade Foods. We had the Ballpark Franks, which were originally sold at Tiger Stadium. The family business really taught me decency and discipline and integrity. I think of them as my family values. I think of them as Michigan values. And that's something that I have really taken with me wherever I've gone in my career in national service. I was on my second day of graduate school in New York City at Columbia University when 9-11 took place. And in those first chaotic 12 hours, I really knew that my life was going to be defined by national service. I didn't dream of becoming a CIA officer or a leader at the Pentagon, but I knew it was called to a life of service. I was recruited by the CIA to become a Middle East analyst. I was in the White House. I served at the State Department. I served at the Pentagon. I was deployed to go to Iraq um, and serve alongside the military and our diplomats. I ended up serving three tours in Iraq, um, and on the third tour, I met my husband Dave, who has his own life of national service. He is a career Army officer, 30 years in the U.S. Army as an Apache pilot. After Iraq, my road in Michigan was rocky returning to care for my mom, battling cancer. She struggled for years to get health insurance given her precondition. So the debate about health care reform is deeply personal for me. We lost her in 2011, but her gift to me was the chance to spend time with friends and family in Michigan. Here's what I've learned from all the folks I've talked to. The pathway to the American dream, it's harder to find. Opportunities, tougher to come by. That simple idea that if we work hard and do the right thing, we can provide a better life for our kids, doesn't feel so simple anymore. And that basic responsibility that our elected officials are supposed to make the lives of their constituents better is not being lived up to. That is not service, that's selfishness. Because if they were working for us, it's simple they'd be fighting every day to give us opportunities. The opportunity not just to have a job, but a career. In new fields and with new technology, so we're looking forward, not backward. For healthcare, regardless of precondition, without going broke, and stop making our healthcare a political football. For more options in higher education, more college and apprenticeship programs that are matched to the job opportunities available in our towns and cities and we'd have roads, bridges, and infrastructure that attract rather than repel new businesses. And we'd have politicians who listen to people, roll up their sleeves, and just get to work, because that's what we do in Michigan. Where I've worked, in tough situations, you don't ask if someone's a Democrat or a Republican, you work with them to get problems solved. The attack on the American dream is the nation's biggest crisis, and that's the fight I want to be a part of. I'm Alyssa Slotkin, I'm running for Congress, and I'm ready to fight for you.